though it just has such a history of of culture and entertainment but of people loving this place and this building cherished by so many still years of neglect had left this iconic theater in virtual ruins but now five years after shutting its doors work to renovate the building seating has been rearranged a little bit over time but and revive that culture is well underway. We're, we're here to really open this theater. The good bones of this theater is, is obvious today that we, we're so lucky to have it to work with. It's thanks to the ongoing work by this group of new board members which took charge in 2016 that folks here in Waldoboro can now look to the Waldo's future much in the same manner they remember its past. A thriving theater helping to fuel a flourishing downtown Main Street. It's going to be a cultural center for this part of the Midcoast. This is the projector. There was a dual projector. Though built in 1936 as a movie house, once the Waldo reopens, the board envisions hosting a much broader array of entertainment, film, live theater, and music, as well as educational and community programming. The flexibility of the space that we find as we think about our future programming here is just, it's just fantastic. We think that if there's a vibrant theater here that's successful with lots of diverse programming, then the downtown is going to grow as a byproduct. Through grants and fundraising efforts, the board has already raised well over half of the nearly $770,000 it needs. It's already put on a new roof, hired staff, and started the upgrade to modern technology. And the number of volunteers donating supplies and labor. All of it only helping to prove this community wants this theater to succeed. People are more aware of what we're doing. They're seeing the progress that's being made. And they're realizing that, that this group of people means it. In hometown Walderboro, Steve Minnick, WMTW News 8.